It's a bold plan, a 107 kilometre bike and walking trail around the entire Great Lake. Five day bushwalk or basically a two day mountain bike ride. Pub owner James Johns has put the proposal forward, hoping to capitalise on the success of mountain biking in other parts of the state. This will be uh, not just for the Moina area, but also for the areas such as Deloraine, Longford and Bothwell, uh, who are all on, on the routes up here to the Central Highlands. He wants to see construction start this time next year. It would be an 18-month build on land managed by Hydro. First, the exact trail needs to be decided on, taking into account the Aboriginal heritage of the area. They've asked us to move the trail on certain occasions, um, which we've done, um, to take all of those things into consideration. Some local residents are excited by the prospect. Good development that makes that community more robust and can withstand hardships like, like lockdowns. Robin Taylor lives at the Great Lake and manages short-term accommodation. She thinks a trail would provide a boost to permanent residents. As long as they take care of the environment, the trees, um, which are habitats for animals and birds, a lot of owls are coming back to this area. But shack owners are worried it will change their experience of the lake. Maybe we haven't had anywhere near enough uh, public consultation. Josh Sutton has been coming to the area since he was born. If you start introducing another 100,000 people a year to this area, a lot of things really have to change. Really wondering how this uh, bike track and walking trail can coexist with us. In a statement, Hydro Tasmania said it was generally supportive of the proposal. Hydro and Parks and Wildlife are currently looking into the potential trail and say the proponent will have to submit an environmental impact statement, public consultation report, a risk assessment and other documentation for approval. James Johns estimates the trail will cost $8 million. We've met with the Premier and um, and that is in fact you know where we're looking at the funding coming from a split between federal and state funds a proposal he hopes will make the great lake even greater sean wales abc news myena